Lynn. Are you ready to do your cross examination? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Proceed, please. <clears throat> State your name, sir. Dan Gallagher. Dan, Dan Gallagher. Okay. Are you currently married? Yes, sir. And how long have you been married? Twenty-two years. Twenty-two years. Okay. And you had an affair. Am I correct? I wouldn't call you that. You just one night. Marriage? Yeah, just one night. Thing. Okay. Okay. Dan, yeah, so what do you do for a living? I'm in uh, architecture. You're a lawyer, okay. I'm a lawyer. Yeah, you're a lawyer, okay. So you used to defend the people, right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Think you do your job pretty good? Yes, sir. You're pretty good. <coughs> you can make up stories and kind of manipulate the system and everything. Jets, uh, your no. honor? No, sir. Tips thing. Where are we going with this? So, Mr. Dan, you said you're married. Excuse me, sir. Where are we going, oh, where with, are we going this? with my yeah. questioning? With your line of questioning. Just trying to get in, just because trying to if, he's married, if he's married, why are you having extramarital affairs? Answer the question, sir. Is that true, Mr. Dan Gallagher? Yeah, I had a, you know, some kind of, you know, relationship. Did you have sex? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes I did. One time or an ongoing thing? It was just one time thing. Is this the first time you stepped up on your wife? Yes, sir. Now, could you say from that one time relation, did the deceased grow attached to you? Yes, she did. She did. In what ways could you say that she grew attached to you? Well, you know, my wife was out of, out of, out of town for a weekend, and I met her, and then we spent, you know, time <coughs> together. And then after that, I tried to stop it. I tried to stop, you know, going any farther with that, and then she overreacted, and then from that moment, she been stuck in me. She overreacted? Yeah. So the she deceased developed a pattern following you and your wife? Yes, sir. So you could say there would be a need to remove her, right? Get rid of her, right? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Good motive to get rid of her, right? What do you mean? Well, if the deceased was stalking you and your family, that definitely creates a motive for wanting to get her to be rid of her. At the time, she was no threat to my family or, or myself in the beginning. Okay. Was there any flirting going on, any hugs, any no, sir. talks, no. notes? So you, you guys never flirted? You never gave her a hug? You never kissed her? You never spoke to her on the phone? <coughs> you never communicated after this one time is what you're telling me? Yes, sir. You never communicated with Alexis after that one time that I had sex? Yes, sir. How many times would you say you mess with the deceased after the first sexual meeting that you had with him? Um, or how many times did the deceased pop up and stalk to stalk you after that first initial sexual? Time? Well, I got home one day and then she was in my house. That's not the question. The question is how many times you get a rough estimate. Did you see two, the deceased three. two, three times? Yeah, I would say a few times. Yes, sir. Were these like mutual meetings or were these just pop up stalkings? Uh, she was stalking me. It was not meeting. Motive to get rid of the deceased. Okay. I rest my case. Is it a problem? Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready? Describe your relationship with your, your wife. We had a you know we had a relationship. Been married for twenty two years. Whenever had a problem. Did y'all have any conflicts going on? No. Constantly. No. Uh, okay. What what type of work did you do again? I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer. Okay. Uh, how long was you doing that for? Uh, twelve years. Twelve years. Oh, so you have stability in your life. You've been married for twenty three, and then you've been in a yes, job. Oh, so you never really do too many things that are stable. Like this. You know, so you're a hard worker, you like to work hard, you yes. try to get things done. Yes. That's basically okay. 
Okay, right. when she, she overreacted, how did you respond to that when she overreacted? Um, I told her that I didn't want to see her no more. You know, I wanted to, you know, to stop. And where did she take that after that? And she, uh, as I was leaving, then, you know, she came up to me and she turned around and then I see blood on her hand and then I ran into her and I said, what's going on? And when I saw her, I saw she was cutting herself. She cut herself, so I basically ran over to the kitchen and pour water over her head and, you know, clean it out and then she just pour So you came to the client even though she cut her so Yes. Kind of yes. Okay, so you said still a good person now. still a good person. I object, Your Honor. This has nothing to do with the defendant. Can I? Substance. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Okay. When y'all first met, how many of the meetings were set up to be met? What was that? When y'all first met, the first couple of meetings, did y'all set these meetings up or were they like pop No, nah, I was uh, I went to a banquet with my wife <clears throat> and then uh, she happened to be there. Oh, okay. And that's how we met. Okay. We flirted for a second. It was just a second thing. But she just happened to be there. She just happened to be there. Oh, okay. I never met her before. Okay. Can you recall a rainy day when it was raining? Yes. And your umbrella. Yes. Was it was, uh, my, you know, I went back to work that, that following uh, day. 